real bumpy right here. Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site. Look at one of the airmen up there. I think they're all on each post coming here. Oh, it's our first time visiting this site. And we're excited about it because Tuskegee Airmen, if you've seen the movie Red Tail, all the African American pilots that served in World War II when no one gave them a chance and they proved themselves heroic and really, really made a name for themselves throughout the military. Molten Field Airport, Municipal Airport. Visitor parking, 300 yards. So it's gonna be interesting to see what they established here at this National Historic Site. I believe this is where the training, where the airmen got their training from and got an opportunity to fly when people told them that they cannot fly and they were flying the meager missions and felt that they were not contributing to the war effort. Okay, entrance. Okay, turning left. And they have the National Park sign right there. Where do you actually go to the visitor center? Molten Field. Look like a family over there with a uh, service member with them. Well, my map head is going straight, so we're gonna go down straight and check that out and then see if we have to turn back around. We have made it to the Tuskegee Airmen Histor National Historic Site. And this is what it looked like back in the day. Motion field is where they did their training at. It's still an operational private jet airplane airport. Wow, look how young they are. <laughs> and there's a sign right there that say historic overlook. So I'm Wait, assuming oh. that once we get over there, it will be, will be where they were doing their training. So the sign is a historic overlook right here. We're gonna hit up. You know, I don't like missing signs, so I'm gonna see what this sign is at the beginning of the site. Oh, just a welcome sign. Okay, this is nice. As Kate come up this way, right here is a nice setting. And over there is a, a operational airport and an airfield. But this is a nice setting we haven't come up to any of the signs yet to understand why this is built like this. So hopefully we can go down there to the airfield also. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see a park stuff. ranger down there. So obviously we can go down there and visit yeah. inside these hangars and all that stuff. So we're going to take you all down there with us to see what's going on down there. Okay, we made it down after walking down the hill to the National Historic Site. This is the airfield and everything. This is hangar one. Hangar 2 is all the way over there where there's an entrance in a bookstore upon your exit. You can go purchase things. But first, turning first, we're going to the orientation so we can get so we can get all we can out of this visit. Let's head in. Okay, we are going in for our orientation. They just say it's a couple of minutes of orientation to tell us about the, the grounds and the location. Recording. So, what are you writing now? I'm writing a soft hill heritage, heart of Davidson. That's right. It's <laughs> <laughs> our orientation. You like to know where we're from. Yes, it's a right. ranger that's doing the orientation. Uh, and so, it's a great military history site. Right. And so, you got the active duty coming over here. We got veterans coming to you know. So, it, it's great. So, there are. This plane is in pristine condition. And there's another one over there. I'll get to that when I get to it. There's a lot of things we got to take a look at. Matter of fact, let me show you the parachute folding table. Those of you who are in the military, especially flying, know that you had a folding table, but <laughs> nothing like this. The 
is showing the parachutes back in World War II. But this, like I said before, history. And I believe history is history, not good nor bad. There are bad things that created history, and of course there are good things that created history, but history is history, and we all learn from it, and hope and pray that we do not repeat the bad things that created the bad part of history. One of the things on this other side of this billboard is Robert Moulton, in which the field is named after. When Cake and I was growing up in New Orleans, we went to Henderson H. Dunn School. But Moulton was another elementary school in New Orleans, Louisiana, in the projects that the upfront people went to Moulton School. Now that you know, Moulton is the name of this airfield that the Tuskegee Airmen will use and train at. We'll put a picture of Robert Moulton up in the video as I speak about it. And the two schools, the elementary schools that we went to, which Rich just spoke about, they were identical. Yes. This is where I received my flight training, actually at this field, in this particular thing. Not a real airplane. I cannot fly. I'm just saying. <laughs> They use this to learn how to fly in order for them to just get the feel of flying an airplane without actually being in the air. And they couldn't come here trying to fly with an attitude, that was for sure. According to the thing on this desk right here, you, if you had an attitude, you couldn't fly. So what we're looking at right now, when you come to this field, we still are in Hangar 1. On each one of these desks, there's a phone with the speak Good people that are speaking. And here, there's our mechanics speaking. We got link training and all this going on. And Fanny Gunn Boyd was one of the few females, well, there was a lot of females, but one of the few females that's mechanics that's speaking on here. Because back then, they needed mechanics, and a lot of females actually worked on airplanes also. This is the mechanic section. As you come here in Hangar 1, there are sections all over the place describing with the speakers that was here at Moulton Field describing what was going on. And as I was speaking about before, all you do is pick up the phone, press the number that corresponds with the picture, and you will hear that person's voice yeah. spark, talk about what they actually done back here during the war effort. The mechanic speaks. You pull open the drawer and it will tell you each mechanic had to have their own tool. This toolbox belonged to William's child. He came to Tuskegee to burn money. Okay, one of the things that I really like about this is they didn't overdo it when they actually remade it. So they kept the hangers, doors, hanger doors, watch. And as I turn the camera this way, you will see that the wall is also a brick wall. Of course they added the planes and they refurbished some of the airplanes, but watch the brick wall. Or that airplane right there. <laughs> but look. And as you enter each room, each room has something to offer. Now, I would suspect, I didn't ask, I didn't ask, but I would suspect that the time it takes to visit the airfield is somewhere around four hours. So if we can yeah. find out that information, then we'll bring that to you. So when you come here, try to come in the morning to get the most of it so you can really, really enjoy your time here. Now we're headed over to Hangar 2. Our team said so we got two hours to clear this building. Okay, we enter in Hangar number two, yeah. Tuskegee Airmen.
okay, what you're about to see now is what the movie was made of, Red Tail, the actual plane that the black pilots flew in the war. Now you gotta remember, Tuskegee Airmen was more than just the pilots. It was everybody on the air base, which include cooks, everybody, just everybody, cooks, store personnel, all this stuff that was on the air base, and they had like 10,000, and over 16,000 people was part of the right. Tuskegee Airmen. So I'm about to show you this big, giant, and it was called Red Tail because of the Red Tail. And it wasn't named Red Tail by the black pilots. It was named Red Tail by the bomber squad when they escorted the bomber squad successfully. And all these guys know that, hey, the pilots had red tails on their plane. And then when they found out they were black pilots and had so many successful runs, they came and requested these pilots to escort the bombers. Okay, here's the combat record. Combat record for Tuskegee Airmen. 1,578 total missions, 72 pilots shot down, 112 enemy aircraft, 66 pilots killed in action, 32 taken as prisoner of war, 13 pilots reported missing in action. And over here they have all the awards that they earned in World War II. Legion of Merit? One. Civil Star? One. Soldier's Medal? Two. Purple Heart? 59. Distinguished Flying Cross? 95. Bronze Star? 14. Air Medal Cluster? 774. Distinguished Unit Commendation? Citation? Citation? Five. Which they got as a unit. And continue on our tour and if you ever in this area in Tuskegee Alabama right. make sure that you visit this place it is fantastic and it's just they, go ahead it has some civil rights in the first chamber mm -hmm. and then this one is all about the the, airmen. the tours that they did the airmen so we're gonna end it right here and continue our tour but if you are riding remember ride long ride hard ride strong but most importantly Rise safe. For Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Kate. And we out. Peace. Peace.